Today I'm going to talk to you about rhinoplasty. That is a schnoz. So for most guys, a larger nose is okay. For a lot of women, a nose like mine would be pretty unacceptable. But today, we don't really do nose jobs the way we did 20 years ago. In those days, a little ski slope nose was in fashion. Now it looks like an operated nose. The goal of any good plastic surgeon should make a nose that looks nice, clean, pretty, and yet strong. You look at most pictures in, in, in magazines of very attractive models, their noses are not tiny. They just have clean lines, straight dorsum or profile or top there, a delicate, more delicate tip. That doesn't mean you want to remove all ethnicity or all traces of who they were. You just want to refine them in many cases. So a boxy tip can be made a little bit more delicate. A bump on the nose can be taken down. The tip can be rotated up. One of the things we look for, for example, is what is the angle between the lip and the nose? If that angle is around 90 degrees, that's masculine. So if a woman has a very a dipping or diving tip, we want to rotate that up a little bit. By the same token, if a man comes in who's got a tip that's up a little bit, maybe that's a little bit too much and we want to take it down a little bit, which is a bit more difficult to do. Most rhinoplasties are done with what's called an open technique. So we make a tiny incision across the columella, which is this part that goes down the middle, and then the rest of the incisions are inside the nose. Through those incisions, we can lift up the skin and approach the cartilage in the lower part of the nose and the bones in the upper part of the nose to make them narrower or take down a hump on the top of the nose or make the tip of the nose more delicate and more refined. Then the skin is put back down, a couple of sutures are put across here, the rest are absorbable inside the nose. And then a splint is put on top of the nose. The splint usually comes off at a week. The sutures can be either absorbable or be removed in about three days. Sometimes we do work on the septum if someone has breathing problems or other parts of the inside of the nose. I rarely pack noses. In fact, for the most part, I never pack a nose. And I always put you to sleep. You hear stories about people having their rhinoplasty done and not feeling any pain, but hearing the clunk, clunk, clunk. I don't want you having those memories, so we put you to sleep here. Rhinoplasties can be very, very gratifying to improve someone's self-esteem and how they look and put their face in better harmony and better balance. Secondary rhinoplasties can be more difficult. And rhinoplasties are out there. You look at it every day in the mirror. So a little bit of an imperfection. It's not too unusual to ask for a little touch-up. We understand that. So that happens sometimes too.